In this video, we'll do a quick introduction about what an inverse is, as well as finding the inverse in some basic problems. Now, the inverse of a function has all the same points of the original function. However, the x's and y's have been switched, and that's pretty much it. The first thing we want to do is we want to find the inverse of this relation. Now, if we think back to that last slide, we have to switch the x's and y's. Really, all we're doing here is switching these around. So for my x's, I'll have negative 1, 5, 6, and 3. And for my y's, I will have 4, negative 5, 3, and 2. Our second question says, is the inverse a function? So we have to think, what does it mean to be a function? If we remember back earlier in the year, we know that the x's cannot repeat. So if the x's don't repeat, then we have a function. Do we see any numbers occur twice here in the x's? I sure don't. So this is a function. Our inverse is a function. Let's try another example. First thing is the relation of function. So is this original problem here a function? That's what we want to know. Well, if I'm going to determine that, I need to know, do the x's repeat? Well, do I see any repeating x's here? I sure don't. So this is a function. Now we need to find the inverse. So I have my x's, my y's. Well, my x's are going to be negative 1, 3, negative 1, and 4. My y's will be 3, negative 2, 4, and 5. And my last question is, is the inverse a function? I need to look at my x's. Do the x's repeat? Negative 1, 3, so far so good. Oop negative 1. I've repeated my negative 1's, therefore the answer is no. The x is repeated in the inverse. Remember this is my inverse down here. The x is repeated, so the answer is no for the inverse being a function. You may also have problems written in this way without the table. Still the process is the same. Well, is the relation a function? Do my x's repeat? I have 1, 4, 3 for my x's. They don't repeat, so my answer is yes, it's a function. Now I need to find the inverse, so I'm going to switch my x's and y's. So I'll have 2, 1, negative 2, 4, and 2, 3. So I need to determine now, is the inverse a function? Well, do my x's repeat in my inverse? 2, negative 2, 2. Well, I have two 2's here. It does, so this is not a function. 